Hi everybody, this is Lamont and Tony over here at Big Dog's Port. And what you're looking at is an Edelbrock 351. Super Victor. That's been treated to our stage three. Race poor job. Now, this customer came to us and he actually had two carb manifolds. Okay. Now, just a little, just a little FYI. The way we run our shop um, um, and the way we set up orders is to basically move a lot of volume because this is pretty much hand porting and to stay on top of the quality and to make sure that we get the best results um, for your money. We have a standard on our stage two, stage three, stage three race and so on. But a lot of customers, you know, they message us. They say, well, well, big dogs, I've heard you got a long wait time. And it's funny because you can have a few customers get on some groups and forums. And, and, and the case usually is for every customer that is unhappy with his turnaround time we have about 50 to 60 customers that are extremely happy but they stay silent kind of understand what I'm what I'm what I'm saying what I'm getting at so the ones that are vocal, they tend to paint a narrative that every single order and every single job is going to have an extended turnaround time, which is just not the case. It's just not the case. We keep detailed records of conversations and we like to prove, you know, um, what we say and we like to tell the truth. So many of those customers, they start off first and foremost asking for discounts. Then they say, well, no rush. Or they want to send us their parts but don't pay the invoice so a situation like that depending on what type of job and what type of part um, they're sending us if you send us a manifold and you want a stage three say for instance you send us a a Cobra GT40 and you want a stage 3 that requires welding cutting modifying a lot of hours a lot of time involved and you send us your manifold and you are not a repeat customer or familiar customer and you don't send us any money you have to look at it from our standpoint we've had quite a few customers try to scam us and that's the big thing, S trying to scam companies and bully companies. The scam is, well, they'll wait, send us their part, they won't pay the invoice, then they'll come back at a later date and say, hey, you're taking too long, yada, 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 haven't heard from you, yada, 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 I want my part back. And in the past, 
we would have already started on their part, cut it open, cleaned it, you know, started the port work, things like that. So then they'll say, well, I don't care. I want to refund my part back. Well, if we have a, you know, suitable core, we'll say, well, we'll just replace your part and we'll clean it up. We'll paint it and make it look pretty and just send it back and get, get send you a refund. They'll say, no, I want my exact part. Well, come on. Let's be honest. How can we send you your part back when we already started on it and you haven't paid? See, here's the scam. They want us to finish and give them a refund and send them their part back that was ported. That's the scam. And then they'll say, well, I'll get on all the forms and I'll bash you. I'll leave you a bad review. I'll yada, yada, yada. That's the bullying part. So we fire customers now um, because we know. <laughs> we know. And not trying to sound like a, a butthead, but I don't care. We know you're not going to get the kind of work that we're giving at the price that we're giving anywhere else. We check with other companies and other porters. They're charging two, three, four times as much for less. You go out there and you find a, a, a porter or a company that's going to do a BRD, our version of a BRD for the price that we're charging. Find a company that's going to do a stage three, our version of a stage three with before and after flow numbers for the price that we're charging. You go out there and try to find a company that is doing the the port work, our version of a stage two on cast iron, small block Ford, small block Chevy heads for the price that we're charging with before and after flow results. I'll wait. <laughs> You're not going to find it. You're not going to do it. You know, pretty much nobody in the industry now is doing iron heads you know, with any kind of real volume. And we specialize in iron heads. You know, we haven't given up on the iron head crowd. Um, most companies, they'll provide, they'll provide flow data. But I want to see actual live before and after videos. A lot of these people, a lot of these places, they have, you know, YouTube accounts, they have, you know, Facebook pages, they have websites. And for the life of me, if you're a porter or a porting company, you should post before and after flow videos on at least a few of the parts that you're doing for your customers. But I don't I don't see that. I don't see that. So Getting back to this manifold, so this received our stage three. Um, we do a lot of these manifolds. Actually, we do a lot of other manifolds. But what we do with these manifolds is we have a like assembly line. And each type of porting, whether it's a stage two, stage three, whether it's a carb, whether it's a two-piece EFI, whether it's a one-piece um, composite manifold, whether it's iron cylinder heads, whether it's aluminum cylinder heads, um, they all get ported differently. Uh, I do porting, Lamont do porting, um, and we have another guy that does porting. Um, we also have an area that the parts get the body work done. That's all the, you know, all metal filler. That's the, the prep work, the sanding. We have a welding station. We actually have two welding stations where we TIG weld the manifolds. And it's like an assembly line. You know, we have what? One, two, three, four porting stations. Um, all set up to port, you know, one is set up to port nothing but intake manifolds. The other is set up to port 
um, um, two cylinder heads at a time. Then the other is set up to port, you know, carb manifolds. Then we have um, two teardown stations where we get the parts in and we take them all apart. So we don't jump on the part and work from start to finish unless it's a a single um, composite like your coyote manifolds or your LS manifolds or your card manifolds like this one here. Okay, we'll start on this and then we'll, we'll finish. But doing it that way allows us to be able to lower our prices per job. Okay, because for instance, this manifold stage three with the full porting and the welding, you can't even tell it's we welded it. You can't even tell we, we cut it and welded and we added material. Can't even tell. But um, full porting, flow testing from start to finish, we have about, I would say, 20 hours into this. Because we flow everything, we match everything up um, as close as possible within a reasonable time. But if we were to do this 20 hours straight, now nah, about 15, 20 hours straight, we would have to charge a lot more to make it profitable. And the way we are able to have extremely low prices, I mean extremely low prices, extremely low is to work on various parts and waves like what we'll do with iron cylinder heads we may do um have two cylinder heads back to back the same cylinder head and we may do all the exhaust ports then we'll take them and flow them so they're within a certain range and what we do is we'll flow them at two hundred thousands Four hundred thousands and six hundred thousands, and then we'll come back. You know, usually the first time that we flow them, they're usually within our standard. Okay, um, same thing with iron cylinder heads. Then we'll come back, do a manifold, and then we'll come back to the cylinder heads, do all the exhaust ports, chambers, and then so on. Um, we kind of break up our time, so we're working on something all the time but it may not be that particular part from start to finish. And that's how we're able to greatly reduce our, our, our prices. Um, so getting back to this manifold, okay, we're going to flow this manifold. Okay. It already was flow before and all of the average runner flow, um, was done previously when we first got it in, and I believe it was 313 um, CFM, it's in stock form. So we're gonna go ahead, flow this. Now we have it strapped up to the flow bench and we are flowing this run right here. Okay, this is the number seven runner. So we're gonna flow this runner, and then we're gonna flow this runner. Flow bench is all set up, zeroed out, ready to go. So with no radius, it's about 415, 416. Fifteen, four, sixteen. Also, just to show you guys how we have the runners blocked off, we're getting ready to flow this runner right here. 
which is the number eight runner. You can see these runners were blocked off also, just in case people think that <laughs> we somehow are fudging our numbers or not testing the parts correctly. We test everything the same way. You guys have seen plenty of our videos demonstrating this, but for some odd reason, you still have people, I guess we have a big <laughs> target on us, but we like it. You know, if they're not talking about us, then that means we're not doing something right. Okay, we have the number eight runner right here set up. Getting ready to flow it, as you see. Everything's still blocked off. Getting ready to flow it. So we're going to call that 408, 409 for the number eight right here. Now that's without a radius. That's without a radius. So um, we flow these without a radius. But if you guys want to see what it does with a radius, I'll show you. You want to use this radius right here. Twenty-three to four twenty-four with the radius, but that's not how we're going to mark it. So, okay, so you just saw those two runners flow, and we already flowed um, all the runners, and the average runner flow was four twenty-one. So in stock form, it was. Um, 313 and after our stage three porting on this it was 421 now you may have some of you smart guys out there the critics say oh big dogs always talking about flow numbers always talking about flow numbers well we don't race flow benches and flow bench this and flow bench that and that's not a good way of measuring a porting and usually those individuals especially if they're porters they're saying that because they don't want to be held to a standard they don't want customers to you know demand before and after flow results from their port work so they want to try to you know try to um um pretty much bash flow results our flow results everybody else you know, flow results is legit, but when it comes to ours, ours is crap. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we have something for you guys on, on that too, to basically show you that, yes, our flow results and CFM flow when installed on a properly matched and capable motor, this is what it can do. Yeah, so that was a mild, I think it's like a 10 to 1, a 10 to 1, 363 mild solid roller, single car. It 
has one of our stage three super victor um, single plane intake manifold. Um, has some, some good, decent heads. And uh, yeah, you saw that. It was what? 646 horsepower and like 510 foot pounds of torque. And it was the exact same manifold as this one. Same port work too, stage three. And you saw the curve, you saw how the RPM curve and the horsepower curve pretty much was still going. It never dipped down. So it was it was right at 8,000 RPM. Never dipped down. So of course that motor did not max out this intake manifold <laughs> this intake manifold without a radius was flowing you know over 400 cfm with the radius the average runner flow was going to be somewhere around 430 so you know even that you know 8000 rpm solid roller 363 which was mild you know it was mild for what it could have been still did 646 horsepower and 510 foot pounds of torque i think he said it idled at like 900 rpm something like that so it, it was it was a very streetable motor but you know it just goes to show that more flow gives you more potential to make more horsepower so that's about it um you guys like follow subscribe if you haven't already done so hit the notification bell so when we upload videos it'll come in your feed it helps our algorithm um, if you are on Facebook go ahead and check out the Facebook page you know we have a lot of information on the Facebook page and um, make sure you guys are subscribed because and watch the videos and comment because with our free ported parts and five hundred dollar giveaway, we're going to let YouTube pick um, one of our subscribers. And doing some research on that, um, basically YouTube is going to look at the subscriber um, um, interaction. So I guess. Subscribers that watch video, watch our videos, um, post comments, uh, hit like. I guess you know that boosts their chances of winning. And like I said, it's free. You don't have to do anything but be a subscriber. That's it. And watch a couple of videos. Watch half the video or, or the whole video or whatever. Um, and you can win some stuff. You, you're gonna have a bunch of ported parts. Um, we are still porting up all the parts in between working on customers parts so but if you don't want any ported parts if you are an individual who just like our channel and don't really want any ported parts you know we're we're giving away five hundred dollars so if you don't want any ported parts you know um i'm pretty sure you wouldn't mind having the five hundred dollars for free just nothing so once again, this is Lamont Tony over here. Big Dogs Performance, Big Dogs Port. See you guys at the track.